Welcome, Gemini, to your weekly reading. This is for the 14th to the 21st of October. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Gemini, I'm starting off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your possible challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Gemini, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with the Page of Pentacles, and we're looking at the possible energy beginning the week. And I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we want to see now what Page of Pentacles is for Gemini, please. Justice. Gemini, what I am seeing here for you at the beginning of the week with Page of Pentacles and Justice is that there is possibility of a new beginning, a new start, and there might be some kind of contract or agreement involved in whatever this is. So this, my dear Geminis, could be the energy of starting a new job and having signed a new work contract. This could be the energy of moving into a new home and signing the rental agreement or the purchase of a new home. This could be the energy of you and your partner deciding to move in together or to get engaged or to get married, some kind of a commitment being made. So we see a new start coming through here and underlying it is our justice energy. So something is either energetically or physically written in law and it's a new beginning, a fresh new start. It's a nice way to start the week. Let's see now who or what the Emperor is all about for you that is sitting in the area you should focus on. So let us see now what the Emperor energy is for Gemini, please. And we have the Five of Swords. Gemini, I do feel that whatever this is for you, whether this is an energetic agreement or an actual legal agreement, the person I think you're making this agreement with is presenting as the emperor. So we know that this is a very strong, focused and determined person. And this, my dear Gemini, could be your significant other. This could be your new boss. This could be a banker, a lawyer, a real estate agent somebody who is wise, somebody who understands how life works on the physical realm. Now, with Five of Swords coming through here, I feel, my dear Geminis, you've worked very hard to get to this point. So whether this is a relationship that's now going to the next level, or whether this is a promotion that your boss is offering you, or a new job, or a new home, whatever it is for you, Five of Swords tells me you've worked very hard for this. And now you're seeing the outcome of all the hard work and hours you've put into it. You're being asked this week to give this, whatever this is for you, your focus, your time and attention. You're right at the tail end. And I feel for many of my Geminis, you might be signing on the dotted line this week or finalizing any agreement. So give it all you've got, my dear Geminis, because this is about to happen and it's going to be signed, sealed and delivered this week. Now remember, my dear Geminis, this is going to come through in an area that is relevant and specific to you. So please take it where it might resonate. Now let us see what Three of Pentacles is all about for you that is sitting in your possible challenges. So we want to see now what Three of Pentacles is for Gemini, please.
and we've got King of Swords. Gemini, what I am seeing here for you with Three of Pentacles and King of Swords is not so much of a challenge, but a strong recommendation on how to manage what is happening. Because the potential of what we are seeing here is Three of Pentacles. And Three of Pentacles is telling me you are able in some way, Gemini, to establish a very strong and new foundation for yourself. Somewhere where you feel like you can be in either this relationship or this situation, be it a job, a new home, a new city, town or country, for some time where you can build something and it can grow and expand as time goes by. And so, my dear Geminis, you're being asked to work with King of Swords energy this week. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It is the energy of King of Swords I'm speaking about. So you're being asked to let your head rule your heart. When it comes to signing any kind of contract, when it comes to any kind of negotiation, even my dear Geminis, if you are negotiating something with your significant other, with somebody who you trust and love, you need to be logical and smart and understand everything that is involved. If you are moving into your partner's home, what does it mean for you? What are your rights? What happens to your belongings? You need to understand everything. And this is why King of Swords is coming through here. Don't be afraid to ask those hard questions, Gemini. The more information you know and the deeper your understanding. And for many of my Geminis, the more you have in writing, it'll hold you in good standing. So whether this is a new job contract or signing an agreement with a client for a big piece of business or moving into a new home or signing a marriage contract, Gemini, know exactly where you stand. Know your rights. Know what your responsibilities are and make sure, my dear Geminis, that everything is clear and nothing is left unsaid. As you can see, it's very strong advice that you don't leave anything unsaid and to chance so you know exactly where you're going so you can build something of substance and value, my dear Geminis. Now let us see what Queen of Cups is all about for you that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we want to see now what this Queen of Cups energy is for Gemini, please. And we've got the world. Gemini, you have such a lovely message coming through from Spirit. Spirit wants you to know that what is happening here for you is going to be very good for you, my dear Geminis, emotionally. It's going to give you the emotional security and grounding that you need at this time. Spirit also wants you to know that whatever this is for you, whatever our justice contract agreement is for you, is going to enable you to close off a chapter in your life and move into something new that is associated with our justice energy and something that is going to be highly beneficial and good for you. Spirit wants this progression for you. They feel that this growth is going to be good for you on very many levels. It's like opening yourself up, Gemini. So whomever our emperor is for you, whether it is a new job, whether it is your significant other, you're going to now have new experiences in your life. And as you can imagine, my dear Gemini, if you now have decided to get married to your significant other, your life changes significantly, especially if you are moving in with your partner for the first time, building a solid new home together. Everything changes. So wherever this could be coming up for you, Spirit is seeing this as a wonderful progression in your life, a progression that is going to benefit you on very many levels. Very nice to see Gemini. 
Now let us see what Three of Wands is all about for you that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we want to see now what Three of Wands is for Gemini, please. And we've got four of ones. Wow, what a wonderful ending to the week, my dearest Geminis. Gemini, no matter what our page of pentacles is for you, whatever this represents to you, it's taking you to a place where you feel like what you have been wishing, praying and hoping for is now happening. And you actually can start seeing it manifest before your eyes. For some of my Geminis, I do feel that this week there's actually strong possibility of things transpiring, tangible things. And other of my Geminis, you're going to see that it won't be long before you have this energy of your ships coming in. With four of wands coming through here, we are being told so beautifully that what this is for you is going to be so good for you. Four of Wands is our 1111 card. We know now you have worked so hard for this, my dear Geminis, but you're taking yourself into a place now where you are now allowing yourself to grow and expand. And once you do that, so your vibration rises and you bring more of this good energy in towards yourself. I do feel for a lot of my Geminis, you're building something concrete something with a very strong foundation that's only going to get stronger for you as time goes by many of my gemini's are going to want to celebrate this in some way and gemini it is always a wonderful idea that when good and wonderful things happen for us we celebrate it is a way of showing spirit that we acknowledge and appreciate what is happening for us, and to please send more of the same. Wonderful week coming in for you, Gemini. Right, let us move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you for this week. Right, let us see now what Gemini's angels would like to share with them, please. And you have got success. So there you have it, my dearest Geminis. Your angels have confirmed that what is happening for you, and it all starts with our justice and page of pentacles energy, is going to meet with success. And that was confirmed for us with our three of wands and four of wands at the end of the week. Gemini, use the king of swords energy when it comes to anything legal, contracts and negotiations. We know that what is happening for you is going to be very wonderful for you on an emotional level. It's opening up the world to you. New possibilities, people and experiences are going to be coming in. And my dearest Geminis, before you know it, you're going to be able to see, touch and live those manifestations now coming in for you. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I am sending you all so much love.